Want to see more cool videos on our channel? We do, so press this bell and enable to send notifications. North Korea, formerly known as the Democratic People's Republic of Korea or the DPRK, and often and accurately called the Hermit Kingdom, is a rather strange place. Even as the rest of the world has become more interconnected and as nations are ever more aware of one another's people and cultures, North Korea has grown even more cut off from the global community as the years have passed. Today, taking a glimpse inside North Korea is not just like looking at another country, it really is like looking at a society that developed as if on another world. Number 12. Traffic Ladies Snapping their heads from side to side, marching into the roads in close-fitting blue uniforms and black heels, the traffic ladies, who marshal vehicles at the intersections of Pyongyang, are an emblematic image of the North Korean capital. Officially known as traffic security officers, but universally referred to as traffic ladies, they are chosen for their looks in a society that remains traditionalist in many respects. They must leave the role if they marry and have a finite shelf life, with compulsory retirement looming at just 26. Number 11. So many Kims If there's one thing North Koreans are forced to pretend they love, it's propaganda pictures of Kim Il-sung, Kim Jong-il and Kim Jong-un. You'll see posters of these three men, the founder of DPRK, his son and successor, and his grandson and the country's current leader, respectively, pretty much everywhere you look. There are massive billboards of their faces plastered around cities, and there are portraits of Sung, Il and Un hung in every home. By de facto law, by the way. And usually these charming guys are depicted with huge grins. Number 10. Forced to poop Fertilizer is essential for the spring sowing season, but North Korea has almost no chemical fertilizer, so the government ordered every person to produce hundreds of kilograms, said a Beijing source in 2013. Hundreds of kilograms of human waste per person is a tough enough task even on a British diet, so how the starvation ration North Koreans were expected to cope is a mystery. Rumors abound in some parts of the internet that part of a groundbreaking deal with the US has been made to provide North Korea with Shia LaBeouf, who's rumored to be the very pinnacle of human waste production. Number 9. Fake Missiles Everywhere The North Korean military loves staging huge Soviet-style parades that put their apparent martial might on full display. The problem is that a lot of the weapons and military vehicles they claim to have are either non-existent or at least woefully ineffective. Still others are simply fakes. International experts agree that this was the case in April of 2017, when a massive parade of military hardware and munitions seemed to include a number of dummy missiles. The apparently fake weaponry wobbled as if hollow, and some of the weapons had nose cones that were clearly out of alignment. Just an FYI to the DPRK, fake it till you make it doesn't work if a shooting war breaks out. Number 8. Magic Medicine If you're very sick and looking for cutting-edge healthcare, head to North Korea. Despite being behind in so many ways, the country has invented a miracle drug that cures most of the worst diseases known to humanity. Of course, you have to take their word for it, but they wouldn't lie, right? According to Noseweek, in 2015, the country's official Korean Central News Agency reminded the world their scientists had invented the Kumdang-2 vaccine in 1996. They also trumpeted it in 2006 and 2013, per The Guardian. It was a cure for Middle East Respiratory Syndrome, or MERS. But that's not all this amazing drug can do. It also treats diabetes, drug addiction, bird flu, AIDS, heart disease, impotence, the common cold, harm from use of computers, insomnia, epilepsy, cystitis, all forms of hepatitis, tuberculosis, various cancers and venereal disease, as well as offering resistance to aging and anti-radioactive, plus SARS and Ebola, because why not? Convinced yet? And North Korea offered clinical evidence saying that the drug had been used on millions of patients. The secret of this medical marvel? It's made from ginseng that's been grown in fertilizer, hopefully not the human poop kind, mixed with rare earth elements, gold and platinum. And the outside world could even buy the prayer answering drug from a North Korean website for about $25. Number 7. Fashion Police One way to keep people in line, so the thinking goes, is to put them in uniforms. When everyone looks the same, it's harder to rebel. Clothing is a huge part of self-expression, so North Korea controls everything about its citizens' appearances. Women's looks must fit the socialistic way of life, while those who express individuality in their attire should be shamed. While a report that there were only a small number of haircuts allowed in North Korea was never confirmed, 
the magazine did dictate that women could not grow their hair long. Since people like to dress how they want, there is rebellion. The New York Times reports women in Pyongyang often wearing stiletto heels, skirts above the knee, and colorful clothing. There's a thriving black market of clothes and makeup from South Korea. In order to clamp down on these shows of expression, there are literal fashion police. A woman's union carrying whistles enforces the rule for ladies, while the Socialist Youth League keeps young people in check. Punishment can happen right on the street, and ranges from being berated to having your hair cut off to being beaten. Number 6. Honey Trap Schemes When foreigners, especially South Korean or Japanese businessmen and journalists, visit North Korea, they're assigned a handler. Sometimes the handler is a pretty female, and romance blossoms between the foreigner and their North Korean handler, or at least the man believes that this is the case. A while after the man has left North Korea, they'll be told that their handler has given birth to their child, the foreign national is now in the grip of North Korean regime and can be swayed to support North Korea, either by sending money to the regime directly, reporting favorably on the regime, or injecting investment capital into North Korea. The scheme, dreamed up by Kim Jong-il, serves another purpose. The half-foreign children can be brainwashed by the regime and turned into spies who can be sent abroad and will blend in more effectively with foreign populations. The children are raised in special areas of Pyongyang, and their every need is looked after by the regime. They are kept as both future assets and hostages. Number 5. Not a lot of TV options If you love kicking back in front of the television to enjoy a wide range of fine programming, then remember not to move to North Korea. While the rest of us are suffering from information overload brought on by the hundreds of channels piped in via cable, satellite and streaming services, North Korea has a whopping four TV channels, all of which are owned and strictly controlled by the government. Most programs are fake and or curated news or pure propaganda, although sometimes there's sports and cartoons. Number 4. Leisure Squad The country has a group in the military called the Leisure Squad. It consists of pretty young girls and you probably have guessed their main duty, to accompany high-ranking officials and military men in their free time. The criteria included choosing girls, those who are under 165 centimeters tall, free of blemishes, scars, pretty, and the ones with a sweet and feminine voice. But being a virgin is most important. But make no mistake, these girls are still part of the regular army. If there's war, they can be commanded. Number 3. Kim Jong-il's Lifeless Body not only is the lifeless body of the late leader Kim Jong-il embalmed and on display in a purpose-built mausoleum, but in fact the dictator's corpse is arguably the most popular tourist attraction in the entire country. Kim Jong-il died at age 70 in December of 2011, but he's still wildly popular with his countrymen, who throng to his very public resting place. Quick sidebar, it's reported that Kim, already in a weak health in the years leading up to his death, died as a result of a heart attack brought on by a fit of rage. Seems fitting, right? Number 2. Internet Censorship in North Korea ranks among one of the most extreme in the world, with the government able to take strict control over communications. North Korean citizens are only allowed to browse 28 websites on the internet. Their intranet, which is called Kwang Myong, or Bright, through which internet is accessed, is free to use for those with access to a computer. The computers, however, are very expensive, and one needs prior permission from the government to buy one. And number one, three generations rule. One of the country's most brutal laws is the three generations of punishment rule. If one person is convicted of a serious crime and sent to a prison camp, their immediate family can also be sent with them. Then the next two generations born in the camps can also remain there. The edict was introduced in 1972 by Kim Il-sung, and said to up to three generations had to be punished to wipe out the seed of class enemies. Crimes for which North Koreans can find themselves sent to a prison camp can allegedly include failure to wipe dust off portraits of Kim Il-sung and having contact with South Koreans. Conditions in the country's prison and labor camps are notoriously harsh. Survivors have described prisoners becoming stunted and deformed from carrying out hard labor for 12 hours a day, seven days a week. Clothing and food are said to be so scarce, inmates are forced to survive on any animals they can capture, such as rats. Thank you so much for watching, and if you enjoyed the video, please let me know by clicking the like button. Do share, write a comment, and don't forget to subscribe so that you can catch up my next video.